inference. So the assumption here is that the given ex program expression E is synthetic correct and E is not type notated or partially annotated. The goal is to recover the type annotation. The uh, classic type system called Hindemith type system was um, concurrently developed by J. Roger Hindley and Robin Miller during the um, early 70s. So it's a classic system that gives us a full specification about what the type checking and inference algorithms we do and specifically for lambda calculus. It supports lead polymorphism and is a base model that is used for many modern functional programming languages such as Haskell. It has a very similar syntax to our simply type lambda calculus except that we do not need to provide type notation to the um, formal argument x uh, in the lambda abstractions. So in addition, we have the um, let expression here. Okay, And besides a program expression, we consider uh, the simple type, which is either denoted by the, um, the symbol T or S. And for type, we can consider either like we have the primitive type or base type such as int, bool, and then we have some advanced types such as the arrow types, which is a function or a type variable alpha. And then for the third category, we have something called the type scheme. And uh, some in some other research paper, you find that the uh, the simple type is referred as the monotype and the type scheme is referred to the polytype. And the difference here is that a type scheme denoted by uh, sigma uh, is has to be a for all quantifier followed by a type variable and followed by another type scheme. And this denotes that um, the type variable alpha here is polymorphic in sigma. And another alternative for this um, type scheme would be just a simple type or monomorphic type. The third one uh, will be the same thing that, uh, that we've seen earlier, which is type environment, which mapping uh, ver variable. But instead of to just to type, we map variable to the type scheme. And notice that for now, we didn't um, treat the infix op as a as a special case for the expressions and we treat ops just at a, another kind of function application and all the built-in op are defined in some kind of initial library for let's say in Haskell is we have them in prelude and there exists some initial type environment called the gamma init that capture all the type information of prelude. For instance uh, we might argue that while the plus operator has a type from int to int to bool, which is already captured in the uh, gamma init. And notice that uh, in Haskell, actually the plus operator is more polymorphic than what it is here. But for now, for simplicity, we just ignore the treatment for this um, for the moment to make the things uh, simpler. We'll come back to this later on. System of Hindemith system, we have to look at one operation called free type variable. So we call that in lambda calculus, we have a free variable function called fv uh, that apply to a, a program expression e to extract all the free variable from e. In a similar setting, in Hindemith type system, we would have we would like to have a uh, free type variable, short denoted by ftv, that applied to a type scheme which extract all the free type variable from this type scheme sigma. So, for example. Uh, if we apply the FTV or free type variable to a uh, type variable, we return alpha itself. If we apply it to a um, primitive type or base type, we return empty set. If we apply it to a function type, we will perform the union and by extracting the free variable from the, um, the T as well as the S. And the last case, when you apply free type variable to the schema or uh, type scheme, we first extract all the free type variable from the uh, sigma and then we have to remove or exclude the uh, alpha which is introduced in this type scheme. So this you can think about this is very similar to our lambda abstraction but this is more on the level of, of type. And then we're going to overlook, overlook the, uh, this operation to handle type environment. Uh, for example, if we apply the free type variable operation to gamma we basically collecting all the free variable that we can, we can ever find in all the uh, binding in the gamma and we try to extract the free variable, free type variable from each of this sigma. 
grouping rules. We first consider the first easy, uh, first four easier rule. Um, the first rule is var, and this is very similar to our simply type lambda calculus, when we want to um, prove that under the type environment gamma, um, x variable x has a type um, sigma. If we can find this binding in the type environment gamma, for abstraction, we can prove that this function abstractions have type from t to s, provided if we are able to pr prove that e has a type s under the extended environment that extending gamma with x has type t. For application, we have to make sure that the actual arguments e2 has a type t and the uh, function expression has type from t to s and whole the overall uh, application will return to type s. For constant, is just look it up based on the value. And sometimes we omit the um, gamma, the type environment gamma here to denote that it's actually the, the initial type environment.